Tasmania has very strong anti-discrimination laws, and as a Tasmanian I know they have been very hard-fought laws, she told the ABC. We should do what we can to protect them and to continue to not discriminate or not allow discrimination against anyone on the basis of any attribute. She would likely cross the floor on the proposed laws when debate continues on the issue this week. Support from a group of moderate Liberal MPs hinges on the government removing a part of the Sex Discrimination Act that allows religious schools to discriminate against students. But any such changes would risk the government losing support of more conservative MPs, as well as Catholic lobby groups, who have said they would pull their support of the bill if any changes were made to the SDA. Ms. Archer said protections for LGBT students and teachers should also be enshrined as part of the laws, following concerns religious schools could unfairly expel or sack people based on their sexuality. The base MP joins two other Liberal MPs who have indicated they would not support the bill without substantial amendments, saying it was extraordinary people were debating whether students and young people should be protected from discrimination. She said talks had been ongoing between herself and Prime Minister Scott Morrison about support for the bill with one of her key concerns with the bill, as it currently stands, was the Statement of Belief Clause. The Statement of Belief would allow comments that offend, humiliate or insult others as long as they express a person's faith and are not malicious. It seems to me that the Statement of Belief provision is integral to what is trying to be changed, she said. That is probably where the impasse is from my point of view, so I don't see how that can be bridged. Ms Archer crossed the floor last year to support a federal anti-corruption body. Debate on the issue is set to resume this week when federal parliament returns for the 2022 sitting year.